Tapping into your website. Configuration file. Getting involved with your website configuration file sounds scary if you've never done it before in your life. However, if you own a self-hosted website, then you need to get your hands dirty, so to speak. If you love the technicalities involved in building websites, then you'd love this guide. If not, well, don't worry. We've made this guide simple and easy to understand, you'll feel like a pro in no time at all. With that said, most of the techniques covered here involves editing your site's .access file, so I'll define what it is first. What is .access? Think of .access as a file that basically tells your web server what it can and can't serve to people and programs who want to access your files. It's technically your site's gatekeeper, however, in order for you to make it work then you need to tell it what to do. Note that in some cases, you may not even have a .access file, so you need to create one from scratch. Also, some web hosts don't support .access especially if they don't use Apache web server software. It's important to mention here that .access is the full file name. It's not file.access or site.access. You can use a text editor to type in your .access file instructions and then save it simply as .access. You can then upload it to your site's directory using an FTP, file transfer protocol, program like FileZilla, https colon slash slash filezilla-project.org. Also, your website is composed of a main slash root directory and various other directories. If you save your .access file in the main directory, then the file will take effect over the entire directory. However, if you save your .access file in a subdirectory, then it's only going to take effect in that subdirectory. This essentially means you can have more than one .access file. You can have a .access file in the root directory and another one in a subdirectory. Just a word of caution though, you have to be extremely careful when making changes to your .access file as one wrong move can shut your site down. Don't be afraid to ask for help from someone who's familiar with .access. Configuring .access to speed up your site. 11. Enable zip compression. Zip is a method where your website files are compressed before it's sent over to your visitor's browser. For example, if your visitor is requesting to view your site's homepage, instead of receiving 500 KB worth of files, their browser will only receive 100 KB or less. This means there's lesser load on the server and the files will be transmitted more quickly. This leads to your site loading much faster on your visitor's browser. Now, the thing is zip compression isn't on by default. You've got to activate it so you can take advantage of its powerful compressing technology. To enable zip using mod underscore zip, you need to add the following code to your .access file, yes, you can just copy and paste the code. To check if you've properly activated zip, you can use the check zip compression tool, https colon slash slash checkgzipcompression.com. 12. Enable browser caching by using expires headers. Using expires headers in your .access file is another technique you can use to speed up your website. What it essentially does is put an expiration date on your website assets. For example, your website visitor accesses your website at 10 a.m. on January 1st and checks your site again at 10 p.m. the same day. Instead of your visitor's browser contacting your server, it's going to check its cache to see if the files have expired or become stale. This helps speed up your site because it means that the browser no longer needs to contact your server if the content is still fresh, that is, it's not yet expired. The browser will simply serve up the cached files and show it to your site visitor. You can add this code to your .access file, source, 
https slash slash samaxis.com slash 2011 slash 05 slash improving web performance with Apache and Hatax. Headers you'll notice that different file types, these are the most common files on your site, have different expire headers time. You can either leave the timings alone or edit to something you're comfortable with. 13. Disable hotlinking Many webmasters don't realize their images and other website files are being stolen. This is called hotlinking or bandwidth theft. Let's call your site website A. When uploading files to your site, they are saved on your server. When people visit your site, your server sends all your website files including your media files. This is how it normally works. Let's say another webmaster, from website B, likes your images. Instead of downloading it and then re-uploading it to their web server, they link to your images. So, now when people visit website B, your server will be sending your image files to their visitors. Even though these people aren't visiting your website, your server is at work serving your image files. This is essentially stealing and is not an acceptable practice. To stop people from hotlinking to your files, you can add the following code to your .access file, please replace highlighted URL with your own website URL. Alternatively, if you want to have a bit of fun or maybe show your disapproval of hotlinking, you can show an alternative image instead of the file they're actually linking to. So, for example, if someone's trying to hotlink to your photographs, you can instead show them an image of someone angry or better yet, something highly inappropriate. That will teach them a lesson. Add this to your .access file to serve alternate content. Remember to change the highlighted sections. Fourteen reduce the number of redirects. There's a number of reasons why you may need to have redirects in place. Your website's already ranking on Google and you don't want to lose your spot on the search results pages. What you do then is you redirect your old links to your new links, so you don't lose any of that CO juice. You can use a tool like Screaming Frog, https colon slash slash www.screamingfrog.co.uk slash co hyphen spider to identify all your existing redirects look through your links and check if you have redirect chains which means your redirect is redirecting to another link this slows down your website considerably to remedy this problem you can edit your dot access file to redirect your old pages to the correct pages add this line below Redirect slash old underscore dir slash http colon slash slash www.yourdomain.com slash new underscore dir slash index dot html. Simply replace the codes above with your website's details, and you're good to go. Final words. There are a lot of benefits to tapping into your website's dot access file. There's no need to install additional plugins, if you're on WordPress, which means there's less work for your website to do and your load times will be much faster. Use the techniques we've shared in this guide and watch your page load times decrease.